guys, so it is the 11th of January and I'm just messing around here. If anyone's curious, this is artwork by Piper Thibodeau and um, she has uh, an on, a, a website, I guess, and she's also found on Facebook. I didn't really steal the picture. I mean, I, I put it as my desktop, but her name and everything is still down on the corner, so I didn't get rid of that. Um, so I thought it was a really nice picture, so I just stuck it for uh, a screen, a uh, background on the computer. Anyway, um, just, just in case you're curious about the artwork, um, I, after trying a whole bunch of different things on my desk to be able to use this thing right here to record my videos with my phone. Um, I've decided to put this white um, camera thing back up. The piece is still right here in the in the top part for me to put the camera in. So I'm gonna hook it back up again and plug the adapter and everything back in so I can use my large um, chip because recording on my phone, I have to do it in very small pieces. Um, I don't really like having it there because it's like right in my face all the time. Even when I'm not using my camera, it's still in my face. And it's just so much work taking it down because it's clamped on with the two clamps back there. But it seems to be the only way that I can record a video decently. I'm still going to have... Um, the side tripod here to try to get some you know bits and pieces here and there with my cell phone and I also have my um, webcam out because I am going to set this up and test out the internet maybe later today to see if um, I can do a live stream or not but I'm going to finish setting everything up first and um, and get OBS up and running and see how that works and everything else is pretty much the same I have um, a new sketchbook here I'm not going to show the front so I don't give away what kind of sketchbook it is I'm going to do a quick review of this on my channel and maybe I do a little bit of a an art thing. I usually do uh, like test out some mediums and everything. So I'm gonna have that in the um, in the live stream, which I I'm telling you this now. The live stream is gonna happen before this video goes up. So um, I guess at least you know that uh, if a live stream is on my channel by the time you're watching this, that I'll be doing live streams hopefully more frequently, and I'll get back into that. So I'm gonna go do that, and I'll be back just a little bit later. A little uh, quick. I guess live stream last night to kind of give a demo on this book. If you want to hear what I think about it, definitely go back and check out the live stream. I did some testing and everything on the paper. So um, if you want to see what I had to say about that, definitely head over to the live stream. It is the first um, maybe 15 minutes. So if you're not interested in the digital art, you can watch the first uh, 10, 15 minutes of the live stream and you can see me testing out the paper in this book. Um, I picked it up at uh, Chapters. That's all I'll say. I think I already mentioned that um, previously. And um, I'm not going to start it yet because I'm still working in this book here. I'm thinking about keeping this book strictly for my lapel pins like I had said so um, I may start this one sooner I don't know because I have all of these books over here I wanted to kind of get my crescent journal filled up before I or my sketchbook filled up before I started anything else so this one is just probably going to get put aside for now um, I show you guys what I did with the digital art but my tablet is being charged but other than that um, I'm going to be working on some more lapel pin stuff today and um, yeah that's pretty much it right now it's 11 30 in the morning going to grab something to eat and uh, then get back at doing this stuff. I'm not sure if I actually showed this or not, but I did a little Alice mock-up. I think I did show it already. Um, I, I'm just, I'm so far in between vlogging for the um, studio vlog now that I'm kind of getting messed up. I tried to do some designs for a rabbit. Um, I didn't like this one very much, so I went with this. And I tried doing the Cheshire Cat, and this is really, um, it's kind of embarrassing, really, but I'm going to show it anyway. Um, it goes to show that um, no matter, you sit down and you sketch something, your first time may not be a good go of it. So, you know, this was my kind of first thing that I did. And then I ended up with this, so I much prefer this Cheshire Cat over this one. And I thought that if I was going to offer these as stickers, I may as well draw a couple little things to add in with the stickers. And I started off with this. And I'm going to do a couple of other things, maybe a teapot or something else to go uh, with the sticker set. So I'd like to be able to make it at least six stickers. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, it's probably going to be like eight stickers because I've got all of these. So I've got the Red Queen that I'm working on. So this is what there's cat hair this is what she's looking like and 
That's the only one that I've really got colored digitally yet. I've got the line work done for the Hatter, obviously, because I got the, the pin and everything done. Um, and I've got the line work done for Alice, and I just did the rabbit. And I just have the Cheshire Cat left to do for the line work. And then I'm going to print these out and turn them into pins. Um, well, these three right here anyway, because these two, like I said, are already done. And um, this here, I don't think I'm going to make into a pin. I don't think it's, um, you know, it'll be good for a sticker, but not a pin. So um, what I'm going to do is I think instead of me printing off of these stickers, I might print off a set for myself just to make sure the print quality and everything is good. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload these to Redbubble. So uh, once they're done, hopefully be be by the end of the week, so towards the 18th, the 19th of January, um, they'll be, should be fingers crossed. I'm trying to cross my fingers, but it's not working. Uh, and they should be available on Redbubble um, to purchase if you're interested in that. But that's pretty much all I've gotten done, and I'm I'm just working on this today. But I've been aching to kind of get back working with watercolors and my Copics. So um, I, I've been staring at my Copics a lot lately. So I may break down and do something for that for a Friday video. Uh, but since you guys are watching, let me know if you guys are interested in um, like a one hour live stream on Fridays. Like I had mentioned earlier in this video that I'm thinking about doing that. And um, if you are interested in doing like a one hour live stream, what is it that you would like to see? So I'll get a bit of feedback from that, but I'm gonna go continue working on this. I'm finding it very hard to stay awake today. I'm super tired, not feeling well as usual, but I'm gonna keep moving on because I really wanna get the set done. trying to do something different here um, tonight rather than working on digital art and I've been trying out some soft pastels that I have I these have to be at least 15 years old and they're more like chalk pastels now I think they were supposed to be like that in the beginning um, a lot of them are chipped and broken but I had these I think just shortly after high school which was quite a long time ago um, <laughs> but anyway we won't go into that topic um, so I, I got some of this um, black Canson paper here and I'm trying to, you know, kind of figure out how pastels work and I'm even to the point of using a Q-tip here and nothing, nothing actually sticks to the paper and I don't know, like I can put this down and then I can go in with some tissue and I can just completely wipe it back up again. Like, is I'm, I don't know if that's normal or not. So maybe I have to go and do some um, searching on YouTube. But I kind of thought that once these go down, you know, at least some of the residue from the pastels would at least stay. I know they're only Reeves pastels and they're not oil pastels. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But this seems to be a fail already and I just started it. It was going to be a video for Friday. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to figure it out for maybe another half hour or so, and if I can't get it to work, then I'll move on to something else. Alright, well this is the second time that I've tried to do this voiceover, because the first time my phone crapped out, and then I had like five seconds of my voiceover, and then there was just another dead silence. So let's try this again. So, my pastels went in the garbage. That was the first thing I had mentioned before I had to redo this. And uh, I did some looking around on YouTube and found out that my pastels shouldn't have been quite acting the way they were, and they should have been kind of sticking to the paper more. Uh, another reason why they may not have been sticking as good as they should have is because I'm, I wasn't using a toothy paper and the paper was 
was kind of, it is pretty smooth, that black paper that I was trying to use, but um, it, they weren't acting the way they should have anyway, so I tossed them in the garbage, and with that being said, you know, they were kind of like, I had them when I was in high school, so that was like 14 plus years ago. Yeah, it was, yeah, 14 plus years. It was, it's quite some time. It, they're, they're probably, I had them when I was in high school, so they're even older than that. So I really can't uh, say too much about them. It's not my fault. Well, it is my fault that I chose this long to use them. But uh, I had mentioned that... Um, I thought that maybe getting some pastel pencils in the future might have been a good idea. I'm super close. Well, not super close, but I was nine hours away from Michael's before, and now I'm only three, so, you know, it's a day trip to go to Michael's and come back. And uh, the bonus of going into town is I get a booster juice, and uh, I really like booster juice. If you don't know what it is, it's, um, like, smoothies, like Orange Julius. I don't know if Orange Julius is in the States either, but it's, like, a smoothie shop, and you get, like, boosters in it for, uh, like, energy or protein boosters and, um... Uh, stuff like that. It's like a health food place, um, but the smoothies are super, super good. And, uh, but anyway, so I can go, <laughs> I can go into town a lot easier. I mean, it's still expensive to drive there. It's like $50, $60 worth of gas to get there, but you know, you can make day trip out of it, uh, go in and especially in the summertime, it'll be fun. Anyway, I'm getting off track here. This is what I ended up doing instead of doing the pastel thing. Uh, so I ended up working on another one of the lapel pins that I was, um, trying to make. This is going to be sticker actually. This is the sticker portion of it. And quite possibly uh it could turn into a button as well i might do like a five pack of buttons with my alice in wonderland designs on there so that's something that you can look forward to as well um but i don't really have a whole lot to say about this piece um because it's just it's pretty well straightforward i understand that some of you guys don't come back here every week looking for digital art so next week there should not be i'm saying there should not be any digital art in the in the studio vlog so uh things should be a little bit uh, different, changed up, more variety. That's what I'm getting at. There should be a better variety of things. Um, I'm going to be trying to work on uh, some watercolor paintings or some Copic artworks or something of the sorts. And I've kind of, you know, been watching a lot of videos on YouTube the past couple of days and people are saying, you know, kind of what I've been thinking of for a while now that I've been kind of limiting my skills, I guess, and just putting out videos because of putting in video and I want that to stop. So I am going to take my time and work on a few larger pieces and um, hopefully I'll have them done um, when it comes time to do uh, the, the, the upload for the video. If not, I plan on doing some live streams, which um, also, I should say that I may not be able to live stream on Friday. I thought that I, I knew I had to go out of town again this week, but I thought it was going to happen on Tuesday or Wednesday, um, which today or tomorrow, but it seems like it's not going to be happening until Thursday or Friday. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be back in time to do a stream, but if you want to get notified, click that, um, the bell icon down below and it'll let you know if I'm going to go live or not, or when I do go live. And, uh, just in case for some reason I can't live stream on Friday. Anyhow, I hope you guys are having a great week. Enjoy the rest of the week. Next week, we'll have some more variety. But until then, I'll see you in the next video.